Chains for the latest on these storms right now, Michael. That's right, Ben. We're dealing with some uh, pretty heavy artillery. The strong thunderstorm now is severe thunderstorm warning for Blount County. This now includes the northeast part of Jefferson County, uh, the northwest part of St. Clair County, also Etowah County. That's just northwest of Gadsden, uh, that the western side of Etowah County, right there along Highway 278. Uh, so we're talking about at Pinson, the approximate arrival time of this thunderstorm around 447, Chalkville, uh, 454, Center Point around 455. Damaging straight line wind, the primary threat, also the likely uh, for some large hail within this a flash flood warning continuing now for Coleman County until 715. But the heaviest part of this thunderstorm crossing out of Coleman County east of I-65 and that western part of Blunt County and this going all the way back to the northwest part of Alabama, Hamilton and Marion County and also into Franklin County. That severe thunderstorm warning for Franklin County has been allowed to expire, but still some heavy rain taking place and that will be the case for the remainder of this evening. That's the reason we are weather aware for tonight. A damaging straight line wind, heavy rain with some isolated areas of flash flooding and also poss the possibility for some a large hail. So until 9 o'clock this evening, we have the severe thunderstorm watch running uh, from Coleman County back into Morgan County, generally along and north, just north of Highway 278. So in Coleman now, we still have plenty of raindrops there on the camera, but fortunately uh, we're getting a break in the rain for the moment, but more additional thunderstorms likely as we progress over the coming hours. Uh, so if a rock the south, we do understand they're in a, in a delay at the moment, and that's a good idea because these thunderstorms, in addition to the straight line wind, a very frequent lightning. So it's a terrible idea to be outside with that lightning around. Also, a few, a couple of isolated cells here passing through at Chilton County, heading back over toward a Bryn as well, the southern part of a Tuscaloosa County. In per terms of severe weather threat today, we're at a slight risk on a scale of one to five for the remainder of this evening. We're at a two. This entire area highlighted in yellow, damaging wind, large hail, the primary threat. The system will continue to press on from the northwest to the southeast. And the good news, some of this will continue to move on through after the peak daytime heating hours, which will kind of mitigate that severe potential. But again, it's still there on a lower end risk. Progressing into this evening, we'll just have multiple rounds of these thunderstorms that will continue to uh, pass on through uh, late tonight through early tomorrow morning. Uh, this will finally uh, taper down to some uh, lighter showers well past midnight tonight uh, through early Saturday morning. But between now and then, uh, we're going to deal with some heavy storms. You can tell exactly uh, where it's raining because the temperature is down in the low to middle 70s. Coleman, that's not bad, 73. I look at Hamilton, a rain cooled 75, while Jasper in Birmingham, still hot and steamy in the lower 90s. So a few additional spotty thunderstorms likely to tomorrow afternoon, but the good news throughout this weekend, uh, the rain chances will decrease. There's still a lower end risk uh, for a few stronger thunderstorms over the central and southern part of Alabama by tomorrow afternoon. So just expect these waves of thunderstorms to continue to pass on through. If you plan on heading out by the pool tomorrow, check it out. The temperatures dipping into the middle and upper 80s. That will be a nice refreshing change from the heat that we've had. And from one day to the next, uh, the rain chances will fluctuate. Bottom line, heading into next week, just your typical summertime weather pattern as high as will go back into the middle 90s. Yeah.